Welcome back, everybody. Time for some more Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. This is the American Campaign, and we get for the first time to bring our third-rate Bellona class, which we have renamed the USS Ranger. I sold off the old USS Ranger, so we just upgrade a new ship with the name. Three gun decks on that ship that we captured. We've got her repaired and ready to go. This next mission, we can only take five ships in. So it's probably going to be the Constitution and the Ranger, our two third rates, uh, along with the Husser, the uh, Joya de Nicaragua, which I've, I've added that part to the name. I'm not 100% sure I've spelled that right. I'll have to double check that. And uh, Revenge or Paul Revere. I'm thinking probably Paul Revere, only because Paul Revere has a greater crew, even though they have fewer guns. Uh, I just feel like they'll be a little bit more helpful for us. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're on to the next stage of the American campaign. And uh, we're going to do this mission here called Another Attempt, which uh, we're pretty much out of uh, what we once had in abundance, which is those prestige points. So uh, we're into 1780 now, and we're down in the south, and we're back to kind of the major action of the American Revolutionary War. Here we go. So 28th March, 1780, and we'll go ahead and load up our ships. Uh, we're going to take the two big ones right off the bat, uh, the Constitution and the Ranger, and then these others will come in later. We'll go ahead and throw Paul Revere in there. And uh, I, I've not played this. I haven't even looked at it, so I really have no idea what to expect whatsoever. Uh, the French have decided to use multiple types of transports with different speeds, which has forced us to split the convoy in two. If the British catch us, the rear guard will hold them off while the faster vanguard escapes and engages Wilmington. What are we facing? All right, I think we can probably... Oh, there's the surprise. <laughs> Isn't that the name of the ship uh, from Master and Commander? That's amazing. I wonder if Captain jo Jack Aubrey is aboard. Uh, this afternoon, sails were spotted on the horizon. British sails. These ships are no ordinary frigates either. They are state-of-the-art and brand new. The transports will not stand a chance against such impressive vessels. You are their only hope. All right, so let's pause real quick and take a look uh, at the mission. At least one must be fulfilled. Uh, you have to eliminate the enemy fleet, so that's kind of a non-negotiable. All must be fulfilled. We have to save the Annabelle, the Cassard, and the Foudre. Uh, so that's what we've got to do is we've got to we've got to save these transports. There's only two of them so far. The other one must be with the rest of the fleet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a look. So just off the bat, I want to point out that the Ranger, even though it's a big ship with 78 guns, it's a fairly new crew. You can see there's no experience there. So uh, Constitution is going to perform much better, even though she's got fewer guns and fewer men. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind. Constitution's probably going to have to be the one to go after surprise. Uh, but maybe we can go after these guys and take them out kind of one at a time. I guess we'll see. But I've only just got the two ships right now. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to slow down here a little bit because we're getting ahead of these ships. I don't have control over the transports. I only have control over my own ships. And we're basically just fighting a delaying action here. We're going to do our best to keep these guys from being able to get at those transports. I don't think our chain shot's going to reach from here, so we're going to have to keep it with the, uh... Keep it with solid shot for now until they get a little closer, because the main thing I want to do here is really mess with his maneuverability. So we are going to switch to chain shot now that he's getting close. At least for a little while. Can't even really get a higher aim on him. I think we'll just let them do this automatically. Here we go. Beautiful. So he's going to start turning now. He's going to try to squeeze right in between us to get at those transports, it looks like. No, now he's going to turn. Oh. They're going to fire on surprise. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and 
switch over now to a solid shot. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe he was trying to go at the transports, but I guess not. We're going to have Ranger and Dipper in a boarding action right off the bat. Looks like that might happen. I don't know. guys separate here. I don't know if I'll be able to get at him with canister this soon, but we're going to find out. Alright, Constitution, we got a turn. Looks like the other ships are starting to show up now. I think these two, we're not going to have a whole lot of trouble getting to safety. I'm a little more concerned about the third one. And obviously surprise is going to be an issue. Especially like Rangers lost 33 men already. Surprise is trying to sneak around on me, so I'm going to turn Constitution back around. Let's see what's happening over here. Here they come. Don't have control of most of them yet. So there's the other two ships. And he does have more ships on the way. I expect that he probably would. Oh boy, Surprise could really light into Ranger here. Ranger's got her first star now. All right, we're going this way. Let's see what the British have coming. Oh boy. <laughs> well then. You guys got to get moving. Do we have control of these ships yet? We're basically going straight. And I'm going to have all of them do their own thing because I don't want to be slowed by the ship ahead or behind. Alright, Surprise is going to do their best to get over there. sails as best we can here. All right, let's pause for a second. Okay, so the main thing here, we got to deal with surprise because she broke right through what I was trying to do and is already getting at my, my ships here. I wish I could control these guys. Oh boy, he's already got my ship on fire. That is bad. Especially since I'm about to run into him, which could lead to me catching on fire. And here comes the rest of his fleet, and my backup ships are really no match for them. My second wave. Husser, maybe. Of 
course, none of this means anything if this transport doesn't get out of here. I think I'm probably going to have to start sending Constitution up to help with Annabelle. And you can see Rangers taking some pretty massive damage from Surprise right now. And we're at a bad angle, so a lot of our shots are ricocheting. I'm going to try to get up in front of him. and light this guy up. Right, we're going to start going after surprises personnel now. good at the moment. If we can get him to surrender with the vast majority of those men still intact, that would be outstanding. We're just going to kind of park right next to Surprise for a little while here. Hopefully he doesn't bring Ranger's numbers down too far. other transports. Oh, they're way back here. This is going to take a while. We're definitely going to be engaging the rest of that fleet. This is going to be a major, major fight. Part of me wanted, wants to just board him. I've already lost 155 men, but now I'm just going to lose far more. Switch back over to solid shot. Broke the rudder on the dipper. Just lit Taurus up.
Constitution is going to have to start catching up to the other ships, unfortunately. Surprise has got a broken rudder now. Let's go ahead and throw some canister fire across their stern. Oh, they must have got their rudder fixed. Surprise surrendered. Excellent news. Okay. Rangers got a lot of damage, so honestly, they're they're going to be largely ineffective for the fight against those bigger ships anyway. That's another big ship we just grabbed. And now we've just got to try and sneak them out of here. Best we can. If we could get Surprise's rudder fixed and maybe unload some of the crew from other ships, we could actually probably use it. Constitution's in decent shape. We really... I'm kind of, kind of wishing I had one of my fire ships to take on his lead ship here. At least these guys aren't experienced. They don't have, you know, like two stars or anything like that, though they could end up with them. Case in point would be the ranger who came in with no stars. We're going to need surprise to... Honestly, I might be better off just to keep surprise out of this. But we're going to have to move him somewhere. See if we can get Ranger to finish these guys off. All right, Constitution's gonna have to slow down. Yep, we need Surprise to go around this way. I'm gonna switch back to Solid Shot, try to sink Taurus if I can. Honestly, I've got enough of these 40 gun or so ships that I'm not going to risk too much damage to try and capture any of these smaller ships. speed here we are so Dipper's getting on the other side of these guys this makes me a little nervous because Orage is already in bad shape and it looks like they're, they're taking hits yeah boy okay so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to disengage from Taurus. Try to get up there at the Dipper if I can.
Just gonna rush surprise to safety best I can. Because I'll at least come out of here with that one captured. That'll be another. I think that's a third rate. Beautiful. Taurus is done. Now the tricky part is, do I even try to capture her? I really don't feel like I can waste the manpower. Especially if she's going to burn. Ooh. Let's be careful here, because... He could be heading for surprise. We don't want to let him get that ship back. All right, this is going to get really interesting really fast. We're not even in range for chain shot yet. careful here because I'm concerned he might try to take surprise back. We gotta sneak her around close to the shore if possible. Taurus is gonna reactivate at some point but there's nothing I can do about that. How are we doing on these other ships? They're getting there. and try to hit them in the rear. around this way gotta stay I can't let him get shots off on these guys especially this one okay good he's gonna stay focused on Ranger sales constitution right, I'm gonna switch to solid shot things over here. We're gonna sneak surprise right down down the shoreline. Gotta watch Rangers taking a lot of damage. before I switch back over to what's going on elsewhere. Come on. There we go. Dang, not as well as I would have liked. Ooh, I do not want to be that close with these guys. Especially if he tries to board me. Alright, you 
you don't fire for a minute while we get you around. Ooh, constitution. I really can't turn away without exposing my stern. But I might need to try to very quickly do that. Okay, maybe he's going to turn away. I'm going to try to go for the sails again. On what's going on over here? All right, finish the dipper off. My goodness, Constitution can't go toe to toe with Espoir. Trying to get out in front of this thing. All right, Ranger, finish him off. I can't tell if I'm targeting him or not. Alright, Dipper surrendered. Surprised the other one hasn't unsurrendered. Oh, Taurus has unsurrendered with her 230 men. Honestly, Rangers so badly damaged that there's not gonna be a lot I can do with them anyway. So we'll go ahead and get get somebody over on the Dipper. Slow down. There we go. We've still got two more transport ships coming through here at some point. All right, Paul Revere, you can open up again. All right, let's get Dipper out of here.
Constitution's at least trying to even the odds for me against this ship, but I still don't think she can hold. Maybe if we get Husser down there. It's gonna be tough though. Just stop firing for a minute while we bring Paul Revere down. switch back to try to go after Espoir's sails again. Hopefully Constitution can stay alive long enough to complete this mission. off, but that means exposing my stern again. Alright, we're going to get Constitution away. We'll actually send them after the Taurus. Oh. I wasn't expecting Joy a Day to have that trouble. I wonder if they got hit by a Ranger accidentally. weird. She's showing on the map like she's a ground. Alright, those other two ships are going to be safe. It's these last two I'm worried about now. Switch to solid shot on Taurus. Constitution, don't fire on your right side, please. Alright. These transports are stupidly coming straight at them. They need to go this way, over to the right. Taurus is about to cease to exist. And Sapphire will be able to deal with. So if they could go around to the left, but I can't control them. That's the problem. I can't tell their captains not to be stupid. I know we can't hit them. probably have to bring these guys around here to try and get on the other side. Hey, transports, go that way.
Alright, Taurus is going down. What I need to do now is just try to slow down Triumph and Espar so they can't get at these transports. I'm going to try to get out in front of Espoir and really nail his sails so he's got them pulled up, so I don't know how well that's going to work. Ah, now they're coming down. Alright, Joy Day, let's not fire on our own ship. Where are those transports? Okay. Looks like they're going to try to go around this way. Sapphire surrendered. Okay. Let's slow down for a minute here. Constitution's in pretty rough shape. So I think... Eh, maybe we'll send them from Paul Revere. Maybe if we get up here and board, we can put a minimal crew on it. We're just going to sink Taurus. Going into the winds, making all this pretty tough. First ships are getting to getting to freedom. Gotta finish Taurus off. Taurus. Oh boy. Here they come. Hurry up. Okay, so plan B. He's about to load all those guys on the Sapphire, and that'll be a huge problem. So we've got to put Paul Revere's people on there. We don't have a choice now. We can't just board and do a minimal crew like I wanted to. Yep, now they're like, ah, darn it. Now we have nowhere to go. So we'll get Sapphire, Paul Revere out of here. These guys are pretty much dead in the water. Uh, still not safe for these transports where we're at. Because they stupidly went this direction when they could have easily gone the other way. I'm afraid Espar could get their guns on both of them and really light them up. And I really just can't. I can't get around them. Alright, hold on. You guys gotta get out of here. Right, I'm gonna flip around the other way. Alright. Hussar's in rough shape because her sails got nailed. That's why she's not going anywhere. They went right at that ship. Ugh. Why are you so stupid? I've done fairly well on this mission, but the whole thing could be undone by stupid French captains. Unless her sails are in such bad shape that really she's just in the way more than anything. Lost her whole first mast. 
Ew, it's gonna get right, right in behind them. Oh my gosh. All they had to do was go around this way. And this mission would be all but done. But instead, they got right in the middle of Espar, who's going to sink this second ship. And there's not a darn thing I can do about it. Oh, what? Now you're going to give me control of Kassar because they're on fire? And now, not anymore. That was weird. For a second there, I had control. Oh. Unreal. We're going to lose one, and with it, the whole mission. We got two of them out. We're going to get a third one out. Oh, now you give me control again. That's lovely. It's done. They're going to sink. Going to save three out of four, but it won't be enough. Yep, there it is. If you could get out of my way, that would be fantastic. so I'm not entirely sure why it continues. Unless we can win by sinking the fleet, the enemy fleet. In which case, I would have done this far differently. Actually, let's get all these guys on the ranger. Even though Ranger's in pretty rough shape, too. Board them. Board these guys. Come on. Get all these men on the ranger and then board him. Go send 74 men onto the ranger from the other side. Just to make sure. Now what? Constitution's rudders broke. 
Got it. Okay. Minimal crew. Get Triumph out of here. Bring everybody around and go after this last ship. So what I'm going to do here is deploy additional men from the Husser. We're just going to load everybody up on the Ranger. Give her enough troops to do this again. Try to use Constitution to slow them down. I think we can I think we can still win this if we eliminate the enemy fleet. It's not always clear. That's the problem. Ooh, constitution. Yeah, you're not really meant to be taking these guys on like that. Let's get you out of there. Oh no. Oh boy. I think we're kind of stuck in the water now. Rangers on the way. Rangers lead the way. Different ranger, but yeah, same point. Let's see if we can take out some of their men. If Constitution surrenders, we'll be okay. As long as we take the Espoir. Come on, Ranger, get there. Gotcha. All right, Ranger, you can do this. We got him. All right, I hope that means a win. I still don't know for sure. <laughs> Nice job, Ranger. Nice job. Okay. We're going to wipe out the whole crew before they surrender. Alright, what does that mean? Is it a win? Is it a not a win? It's still a defeat because the one ship sank. Darn it. Alright, well that's a defeat that I think we can live with because we captured... A 68-gun ship, a 78-gun ship, another 68-gun ship, a 52, and a 40. We just might not have any money to repair them with. 
Although we could probably sell off a couple of those ships. I don't know. I guess we're going to figure this out. And it depends, too, on how much prestige I lost. Because if I lost too much, then the war's over for me anyway. Yeah, so see, I was so low on prestige that it means that the war's over for me if I do that. Which is really frustrating because, honestly, that was a pretty significant victory if you think about it. Yeah, we lost one of four transports, but look at what we removed from the British Navy in the process. Um, so we're going to have to replay that battle. Um, but you can see the player strength versus player losses, and then the enemy strength versus enemy losses, what we kind of took out from him all the way along. Um, pretty even, honestly, and that's good for the Americans. So let me know your thoughts about all that. Now we know a little better what to expect uh, we'll have to go back and refight that one, and I think we can do just as well and hopefully save that one transport. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.